Western media has been headlining some eye-opening claims that President Putin has admitted aiding the Syrian army in its fight against the rebels. The stories focus on what is described as the first official confirmation by the Kremlin. The concern is, is that Vladimir Putin is escalating or expanding his military support for Bashar al-Assad, the Syrian president. And the concern is, is that there have been some very troubling movements in recent days. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe Russia is preparing to insert combat aircraft into Syria, presumably to conduct strikes against rebel forces threatening its longtime ally, the regime of Bashar al-Assad. Earlier, Artis Medina Kochinova explained why these reports are far-fetched. It all started with a statement that was made by the Russian president Vladimir Putin on Friday. Now, the president was talking about fighting ISIS in Syria and was also asked to comment on some news reports uh, that Russia was sending military jets to Syria. And here is what the president said. U.S. jets are carrying out some airstrikes. So far, their efficiency has not been very high. And it's premature to say that we're ready to do the same. But we're already providing Syria with quite serious support, with vehicles, soldiers training, weapons. We have big contracts with Syria that were signed five to seven years ago, and we're meeting our obligations in full. So it is not exactly clear what the Western headlines sensationalism is based upon. Now, as we just heard from the president, the scope of military cooperation with Syria was defined by the contracts that were actually assigned several years ago. And in fact, Russia never made secret of the fact that it was sending defensive weapons to Syria as part of those contracts. Now, it is also important to note that Vladimir Putin was speaking about Russia's military aid in context of fighting. ISIS as the Syrian government has been fighting Islamic State since it emerged on its territory. Nonetheless, these latest Western headlines did not go unnoticed by U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, who called his Russian counterpart on Saturday to voice his concerns if he said the headlines were indeed accurate. It is not the first time this week that Russia has appeared in Western media speculation on its military involvement in Syria. In English language Israeli news outlet did publish an article uh, titled Russian Jets in Syrian Skies uh, that was uh, saying that Russia has begun its military intervention into Syria. Now, the only source that was quoted in that article were some anonymous Western diplomats. No other details were mentioned in the article, not even a direct quote. Uh, so RT has decided to reach out to that particular news outlet and especially to the author of the article to get some comment on this source. I'm not telling about my I'm not talking about my sources, I'm sorry. RT also talked to a source at Russia's defense ministry where they told us that there was no deployment of Russian jets in Syria. So there you go, yet another example of a new story of Russia's supposed military involvement in Syria.